This news update is brought to you by Sign up with Flow today and win an all-inclusive holiday. Sign up for broadband and voice. Open up your world. Sign up. Video and broadband. Watch stories unfold. Sign up. For voice and video. Tell them how it ends. Sign up, sign up today or sign up for a brand. Sign up for two or more Flow services and you can win an all-inclusive vacation for two at Sandals Resorts International in Jamaica and benefit from much sign more. Up and win an all-inclusive holiday. See press or call 620 Flow for details. This is a 6 p.m. Barbados Today update for Thursday, November the 28th, 2013. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Yet another CARICOM national is claiming mistreatment by Barbados. Haitian Rachel Alan says she was ill-treated by an immigration officer and forced to pay 100 U.S. dollars for a Barbados visa after missing her connecting flight to St. Vincent. That's despite having to stay overnight at the Grantley Adams International Airport. She spoke with Vincentian journalist Jerry George. I say Haiti is part of the CARICOM. Why is that I have to pay $100? She said, well, I don't make the rules. If you go to the U.S., you have to pay $200 for a visa at the U.S. I said, well, we're not talking about U.S. I'm not going to U.S. I'm going to St. Vincent. I said, we are discussing a matter CARICOM with Haiti and Barbados. How you get to U.S.? She said, well, you have to pay a visa. Then she was very rude. I said, miss. I say it's not the point that you're saying I have is in the matter the matter how you you doing it like I'm some criminals you you know the way you pull me in the room Barbados's ambassador to CARICOM Robert Bobby Morris says while Haiti is part of CARICOM its nationals do not enjoy all the benefits of free movement <laughs> Opposition leader Mia Motley is calling for constitutional limits on how much debt government can incur. Her call comes as the country's fiscal deficit continues to widen. The Barbados Labour Party will put fully on the agenda a constitutional amendment that will protect this country from the profligacy and from the unfettered spending of any future government by ensuring that there will be a constitutional limit to the incurring of recurring current account fiscal deficits, taking into account, of course, national emergencies, and I don't mean a bad government, I mean a national disaster. Motley was addressing the business luncheon of the Barbados Chamber of Commerce and Industry. A final agreement in the dispute between the Barbados Water Authority and the Barbados Workers' Union is not expected tonight. The two sides this evening resumed talks chaired by Labour Minister Dr. Esther Bayasuku, but union boss Sir Roy Trotman says there are too many matters to deal with to get a settlement tonight. On Tuesday, close to 600 employees suspended four days of protest action after the Labour Minister, Senator Dr. Esther Bayasuku, invited both parties to talk at her office. This evening, she told Barbados today before starting that meeting at 5.30 that she expected that there will be some headway made, but that she wasn't rushing the process. She added that they would be settling in, doing what was needed to be done with no time limit, adding that the talks will be long and will have to go for another day. From the government offices here in Warrens, I'm Ryan Jones for Barbados Today. A suspect is being questioned by police in connection with the stabbing of a preschool teacher. 42-year-old Lorna Jordan was entering the preschool at Checker Hall in St. Lucie just before 6 this morning when she was stabbed about her body by a man dressed in black. She sought refuge at a nearby house and was taken to the QEH by ambulance. There's regional and international news after this short break. McInerney Quality and Consolidated Finance invite you to trade in your old car for a new one. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildey. That's right, all trade-ins are welcomed. Any make or model, we'll trade towards your new car. Plus, you get two years free insurance when you purchase a Kia, Mazda or Ford. And with on-the-spot financing by Consolidated Finance, you can drive away with something new. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildey. All trade-ins are welcomed. Internationally now, at least eight people were killed and 59 more injured today when an earthquake shook southern Iran. Buildings were also damaged and electricity disrupted in several areas. 
the U.S. Geological Service says the 5.6 magnitude earthquake occurred about 39 miles northeast of Burjan, where a nuclear plant is located. And that's our 6 p.m. update. Join us again at 7 tomorrow morning. Until then, log on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper, and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph.